Hello and welcome back to Direct Strike Weekly Brawl Edition where today we have a new weekly brawl and guess what? Tia saw just how much fun we were having and made a new round of the weekly brawl. The developers come in and said, hey, you guys were having a great time with that. Let's give you another triple aura, but this time, this time, triple auras and synergy. That means all three waves spawn together. So myself, my teammates, everyone... All of our waves will spawn at the same time doing the same march across the field. And it also means that our units are way more expensive. So Tychus is now 975 minerals, which is kind of a lot. So I'm not really going to be able to get a unit out here for the first, uh, you know, two two spawns. But we'll, we'll, we'll be okay here with that once our unit comes out. Because he'll have some smaller units in front of him to tank for. Also, importantly, I get to see what my opponents are. Namely, we have a, a Rainer a Stetman and a Mengsk and we can we can actually get some uh, get some damage done here and see what what units we're going to be doing here. So uh we're going to it looks like they're going to going for a lot of a lot of tiny units. So I'm going to pick up a cooldown speed and I'm going to pick up a life per second and I'm going to pick up an Range and move speed or attack speed. Probably the attack speed is going to be good for Sirius here. Uh, we'll put down our Tychus before the wave timer hits and get this going. Now, mind you, the way this brawl works is it's only units that get more expensive. So that applies to Tychus and his gear. So let's say our Ripper rounds are more expensive. But upgrades are not more expensive. So plus one weapons, plus one armor, all these other upgrades, the special upgrades and such, not more expensive. So upgrades suddenly become higher value than they otherwise would. So that's good to keep in mind. Uh, but Tychus, with units in front of him, uh, can just kind of shred. He's got 15 kills and 15 kills and counting. With the blood aura, the extra 8 health per second regeneration, he's going to stay alive a lot longer. With the shadow aura, the bonus 15% attack speed, he'll be doing that much more DPS. And with the time aura cooldown speed, we're going to be getting faster cooldowns off that grenade. Not that the grenade is going to come off cooldown twice, um, but still... It'll, it'll apply to our other units. We are going to go for Sirius here uh, for two reasons. One, with the cooldown speed, we could just chuck ridiculous amounts of, of kamikaze uh, turrets at people because you throw the turret at them, the turret says, hey, I do 50 damage when I die, so shoot me, and then I kill everything, which is kind of how that works. So it's, it's really very effective with the cooldown speed. And and also we're going to go for Sirius because they have a couple of air units which are going to be annoying. And by the couple, I mean Gary, because Gary counts for every air unit in the game. And if we remove him by throwing down turrets and we're having, and we're having Sirius's rocket pods, uh, we, can, we can have him removed from the game before he becomes a serious threat. Because Gary is always the threat in every match it's actually a terrible experience to have an to have an opponent to gary on the other side uh, hello there every time i come online every time i come online it's like he knows i'm not even streaming right now and he knows welcome Welcome to, uh, welcome to StarCraft, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay. I'm giving him sass, but I, I do appreciate having a person's online. But right now, I'm just jumping in with some random matches, just as you guys would have out in the world. I'm not stacking the parties, because Lord knows if we stack the party, it's a 100% win every time. And I have to, like, fight to get my, to get my theme done before, before everyone else comes in to win the game. In fact, I should probably... Yeah, this is good. I was going to say I should probably eco up here, but let me get some more units on the field first, just to guarantee victory here. I'm not going to get the uh, Thunderbolt missiles until I have two two James uh, Sykes on the field, because the reality is just having one Sykes with Thunderbolt isn't, with the missiles, isn't going to eliminate Gary. You need more than that. So I'm not even going to get the upgrade. I'm just going to get two serious out first. Just a little minor optimization there. But with the Kamikaze, all those melee units are going to go away, or any kind of close range unit are going to go away. Because... Yeah, that's... Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> oh, the medics! The medics are keeping them alive for so long. That's fine. I don't mind, because the explosions will come out, and then things will things will go our way. Sweet. I think, I think Sirius actually got the kill on Gary there, despite not, not having his missiles upgrade yet. Right. Yeah, look at that. And all the back line just blew up. That's that's what we want to see. Ooh, there's just some thick medics. He's got to have plus life on those, right? Oh yeah, he's definitely got plus life on those. 
So that's going to be a little bit less vulnerable to splash damage by virtue of it surviving more often. You can do it. Uh, I think they are moving away from this swarm type playstyle because we just have enough splash damage to go with it. But what they have is going away quite quickly. The fire bats with their mild, mildly longer range than a lot of other fire type units, flamethrower type units, are going to survive the close range explosion from Sirius. And boom. So we get pushed back here. It always takes a little while for Sirius to really get, really get going here. Oh, you need more. Okay, what can I do about all these fire bats? I can instead of going for the slower build up Sirius, I can go for the rattlesnake option. And I think. Now that we have two Sirius out, we prioritize getting the missiles and bring down Gary himself. One of the concerns we're having is these Banelings are rolling in. Just straight down the middle and nuking our front line. Good job, Stukov teammate, healing the base up and cleaning up some of those Banelings with his special ability. Need damage output. We need raw damage output to clear up those Aegis Guard. Or mind control. Mind control works too. Didn't get Gary with the missiles. That's uh, kind of expected at this point. But we'll get it eventually. There we go. Now he goes down. Good job, Warhammer Turrets. I think the mind control will be next on the docket. As much as I really want more serious turrets to do the splash damage and clean up all these tiny units, like medics and dominion troopers and fire bats kind of don't do well versus splash damage. So like if we can get some real splash damage out, this going to be great. Do we have storm? I see storm. Finally! Getting in there with the storm. Uh, he should probably get some for feedback just to deal with those medics, but it'll be fine. Uh, once we get some extra charges up on our Warhound turrets, we're getting some more anti air. You see, just every time he throws a turret down, it goes, it shoots those missiles at Gary, which is what we want to see. But more importantly, we're losing a ground fight to very specifically Aegis Guard. So I need to get rid of those with the Vega. Like, one, one my control does hilarious amounts of damage versus the Aegis Guard. Like, Manx is just not. Not a great pick for this brawl, because if Tychus is on the field, you can get rid of it. I've just been kind of hoping that my teammates can handle it. Clearly not the case, so I'm going to handle that myself. And then we will turn their wave into... They have so many of them. We'll turn their wave into our wave, and then we will win the game. We can't do it. Come on, get him off the base. Big, thick units doing thick damage to us. It's the Rainer Medics combined with the Aegis Guard that's doing ridiculous damage here. Oh, so close. Alright, I think we will save this once more, if only just barely. Super Gary on the field. Extremely dangerous for us. Uh, let's actually put you in front with the Psionic Motivator. Because by in front, I mean slightly in front of my units, but not at all in front of my teammates' units, which are spawning. And it will enable us to get closer to those Aegis Guard. Which should get automatically mind controlled. Nope, mind controlled the Fire Bat, because why are you like this, AI? Alright, well. Take that off, Autocast. You're gonna be playing that way. We're not gonna be giving you the ability to control things. Welcome to Tychus. Our autocast is the actually the worst thing. But at least we could get two casts off because we have the cooldown speed. So with that, we're gonna have this. Not only are we removing an Aegis Guard from them, but we're basically removing two with the amount of damage it deals. Let's mind control this guy. There you go. Much better. 
And suddenly we're pushing. Isn't that great? A little bit of mind control goes a long way. 10 seconds. Ooh, I don't think that... Nope, you're not lasting 10 seconds. Not even close. Okay. Ooh. Mind control there. One less Aegis Guard for us to deal with. And it does huge amounts of damage along the way. That's what we want to see. Excellent. Almost to a point where we can get another mind control out. Ideally, we'd want to have one mind control per Aegis Guard on their side. At least per Royal Guard on their side. Which kind of forces them to go for the, for the Swarm Unit strat, which then our Siriuses can absolutely demolish. It's mind control, the one with more HP. Okay, so that's less we have to chunk through. Good. Finally, the feedback's coming through on the medics. Go. It's going to be very difficult for them to deal with us from this point down, because all I had to do was build mind control. And I was hoping I didn't have to do that, but you know, this is the world in which we live. Okay, you need a mind control, and you need a mind control. Good job. Just break their lines. Excellent. We lost one one Vega in that process, but that's okay. Because we're doing more and more damage every time. A little bit of micro would help out with this. Mind control you, mind control you. And I got it during the stim active, which is just a hilarious amount of DPS. Bonus for us, and now we have much more of our wave intact as we push on to the next the next bunch of units coming for us. There we go. I might even get another mind control off. Nope, but it was close, like a fraction of a second grade close. Mind control you, mind control you. There we go. Destroy everything. Now, if we're lucky. Nah, there's no way. Come on. One more mind control. Go! Go! Nope. Okay. This is fine. Give me mind control. This is the joy of Tychus. He te created terrible things. He just has so many options. I don't even need to get the basic upgrades. This is just good. Almost got another Tychus unit available. That would give us even more mind control to play with. We go up to three of their we get it stolen every time. Steal you. I'm actually going to hold off on this second mind control. I'm going to wait for... Wait for the next wave because we can. That's gonna help us out even more. There you go. We get one more Vega over here with the psionic motivator. And now we can really start to get the damage output going. Because here I really don't need to use any mind controls anymore. We're starting to started to push back toward the middle means I should get over it finally, now that we've stabilized a bit. Use all three mind controls here. One, two... Did I lose a Vega? I lost a Vega at some point. It's fine. Get the third one going. And we might actually wipe out their ground units here. Indeed we did. So we're really starting to push to the middle again means I might have an opportunity to go back to building Siriuses to actually clear up their Gary. No more of that nonsense. There we go. We're pushing across the middle now as I'm getting Eco, which is exactly what I want to see. I'm actually going to activate autocast here so these activate as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, beautiful. 
Not gonna mind control any of those. I have one mind control left available out of this group. And we're gonna push super hard into them with this. I feel like there are fewer Aegis guards here. Okay. We can get one more Vega, or we can go back to Syria. I think I need to go back to Sirius so I can deal with the Super Gary, because the Super Gary is doing... He's getting a huge amount of kills on us, and that's just not not what we want to see. Mind control you, you, and you. Nice. Yeah, also with the Hyperion out, definitely want to get more... Uh, definitely want to get more Sirius. We need that air, air single target damage. Those missiles are what are going to keep us in this game. So let me put you down here. And get missiles. Uh, yes, yes, they can bring them down. Fun fact. Mind control, mind control, mind control. Uh, they can bring them down, but because they're heroic units, they don't stay down for as long. So, like, you need a lot of them. Let's just mind control that real quick. Just to get that Thor out of the way. I'm less concerned about the Thor dealing damage to us than I am about it just being a thick, chunky unit. I'm going to turn on autocast here because I have no idea where my units are and I want them to mind control something. Also, they would be conveniently in close enough range to mind control big units that I want them to hit. The way the AI works is it just takes the highest value target in its range, more or less. So if there's a, a thick unit that's de that you desperately need to mind control, but it's just outside of its range, then it won't mind control it. So like, if you let them walk in and you can start taking damage before activating the the mind control, then it's basically guaranteed to take the good units that you want them to take. We are beating back the Hyperions. Now, obviously, they're kind of tanky, so they take a while to deal with. But we are beating them back. And that's what we want to see. There we go. Talking on the right time. Mind controlled all the Aegis Guards. And with it, took away most of our wave. Let's get more Thunderbolt missiles going. Such a weird composition. Vega Sirius. Something you never see, because they usually have anti synergy. We're just not getting any. We're just not using them for their usual purpose. Uh, turn on my controls. Steal all the important units. Good job, team. Look at all these Aegis guards back there getting stolen and devoured. Uh, they are actually kind of holding us here. Uh, their base was helping them. But we are building the units that we need to make them suffer, or at least to make them get kicked out of the game. Uh, they could bring this back again by getting more, by getting more, uh, more siege tanks, because they don't have any siege tanks, and that's really what's holding them back here: the lack of siege tanks. All right, I'm gonna try to manually cast these. In this disaster of a lineup. Not manually casting. There's too many thick, big Hyperions on top that are blocking my cursor. No, you can't control. You can't mind control the Hyperions. Like, I know. I wanted to mind control what's underneath it. It's fine. I'll just let Vegas mind control as they see fit. I'm not going to do much more micro in that regard. That way I can go back to focusing on getting the units I want to focus on. Uh, let's get this going. Uh, let's get this going. Do I care about the basic attack? 110 kills. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Welcome. This is this is why this is why we get the Kamikaze upgrade because they do hilarious amounts of splash damage. It just it's not even like burst damage. It's just splash over time. 
Are we on the base? We are on the base. A little bit of mind control, a little bit of splash damage solved the problems. Very taking hit after hit, he is. Another wave of turrets comes up. And where did the missiles go to? Probably to the Hyperians. They just have HP all over the place. Where is... Uh, do I want this? I do not want this, actually. Yep. <laughs> One of them left the game. They knew. Uh, more importantly, that does mean we're going to have twice the amount of... It's a tactical leave, because that means they're going to have twice the amount of Hyperion on the field, which is going to be a disaster for us. Um, twice the amount of... It, was it the... It was their Super Gary that left. So that means twice the amount of um, Megs, twice the amount of Hyperion. Alternating back and forth, of course. So if we don't win here, we are going to have a really rough time. Because they just double spawned their Aegis Guard, which were things giving us most of the problem. And then they're going to double spawn Hyperion, which we are woefully unprepared for. Yeah, here comes the double... We got to win in the next few seconds, or double Hyperion is going to give us a... Uh, Ooh, they're so tanky. We're hitting the base. We are hitting the base. But here comes three Hyperions. Ooh, boy. Now, luckily for us, their effects don't stack. Also, luckily for us, we just won. GG. All right, guys. If you want to see more videos just like this with more Brawl, more Chaos, and more extremely close games, make sure to hit that like button. Get that video engagement up. And for now... I'll see you guys later.